with the Ignatian year symbolizes a time for us as members of the SCU community to stop and reflect on moments that have made us into the people and university that we are today. 500 years ago, St. Ignatius was struck by a cannonball, and that moment fundamentally changed his understanding of himself, the world around him, and what he chose to do with the rest of his life. And if you think about it, St. Ignatius has also touched all of our lives, regardless of our role at the university or spiritual background. When I think about what the Ignatian year means to me, I can't help but being reminded of how St. Ignatius' life pivoted with that cannonball moment, how he went from being an egotistical, vain soldier to a very devoted spiritual being in his journey and trying to be ever closer to God. I'm reminded of a saying that parents told me most of my life is that the fastest way to make God laugh is to make plans and how at first I didn't get it. It's like, that's silly. Like I'm going to plan my life. But how, as I look back on my life, how true that is, how the college that I want to go to, the major I wanted to have, the job that I was seeking to do, none of that came to fruition really, but that's perfectly fine. As I navigated life, I was attentive to the movements and to the things I, that I was doing. I think now more than ever, it is important for us to reflect on the life of St. Ignatius of Loyola because we're all going through a collective cannonball moment as individuals and as a world community with the events of the pandemic and the many racial and social injustices that are being fought and advocated for this very moment. I firmly believe that the life of St. Ignatius of Loyola gives us important insight and knowledge on how we can take these moments that we're living right now and to find the meaning and to find the beauty and to find why these moments are worthwhile in our life and how we can take these moments and create a more just and equitable world for all people. I think about companions on a pilgrimage together. So when I say companions, I mean that with St. Ignatius, that was an important term for St. Ignatius. He can talked about his fellow Jesuits being companions on making the spiritual exercises. He became a companion to Christ and that's the goal of the exercises. And so I think about my time here at Santa Clara um, over the past 30 plus years and all the companions that I've made. And for many of us, perhaps too many of us, it's been a kind of awakening to many of the forms of injustice that we've been complacent about or complicit in. And so thinking about this moment for Ignatius that inspired him to rethink who he was and what he was about for us is much the same. And so we have to think about how do we reapproach questions of racial justice, environmental justice, economic justice, um, in a way that doesn't just return us back to the new normal, but we emerge from this moment on a pilgrimage, seeking out new ways to bring about justice in our communities, both for myself and rethinking my own actions, my own um, ways of engaging with people um, and the world around me to us as a community at Santa Clara and the way we can do things better cumulatively. We start this anniversary scattered around the world, but our beautiful campus awaits with the scents of wisteria, lavender, and roses. We share this stop together for just a time, adding our struggles and transformations to its history. I'm not Catholic, but St. Ignatius inspires me to learn from this cannonball moment and to be open to new understanding and purpose. As we enter into the Ignatian year, we as a campus community are invited to learn a little bit more about St. Ignatius and pause, reflect, and enter into conversation about where we are individually and a community now and what desires we have as we move through the next year. Who knows what will come of those reflections, but I'm excited to see where the journey will take us. Through every generation, you nourish and sustain. Your people blessed and broken, through every joy and pain. many stories as one though many parts you shape us as one body within your
your sacred home.